morning to all the students and welcome to Little Flower School Presents Math Online Class. So today we're going to discuss about uh, the addition and the subtraction of the fractions which is unit 12 and it's 12.2 exercise okay. So today we're going to discuss about 12.2 in which we will be discussing about the addition and the subtraction. So suppose a fraction is given to you. Suppose uh, let's talk about the addition first. Suppose a, um, a fraction is given to you. Suppose 3 by 7 and another 2 by 7 is given to you. Suppose, okay. And we have to add. We have to add the two fraction. Then what we should know at first is that whether the denominator is the same or not, whether the denominators of both the fraction are same or not, we have to look at that. If it is same, then it's very correct. Uh, it's very easy to perform the uh, addition here. Now, what we'll be doing? 3 plus 2 and we will be taking, since the uh, denominators are common here, so we'll be taking a common uh, denominator and I'll be writing the 7 only. So the answer will be 3 plus uh, 2 is equal to 5 and 5 by 7 will be your answer. Similarly, if the subtraction is also there, suppose uh, subtraction, it's about the denominators having the like term, okay? Like numbers or the like terms. If the like terms are there, then we can directly take a common and um, perform the addition or subtraction. Suppose 3 uh, by 7 minus 2 by 7 is another example, okay? Then what is there? There is the denominator same, so 3 minus 2 upon 7. And it will be close to 1 by 7. So this will be your answer. But what if, if the question will be asking you the fraction having different denominators? Suppose, let's take an example of um, question number 3. Uh, where there is the addition 2 by 3 plus 1 by 4. Look, here the different denominators are there, right? So since the denominators are different, then what we need to do? We need to take the LCM. LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. We know that uh, LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So now what we will be doing? We will be writing now 2 by 3. We will be making the denominators 12. Both, the, the, both of the denominators will be making it 12. 3, how many is it 12? 3, 4 is that. And here also we will be multiplying by 4. Again, 1 by 4 is there. And 4, how many is the 12? 4, 3 is that. So in both upward and downward side, we will be multiplying with 3. And 2 4 is 8. 3 4 is 12. Plus 1 3 is 3. 4 3 is 12. So both the denominators became equal now. Now what we will be doing? We will be writing the common denominator at first. And what are in the numerator? 8 plus 3. So 8 plus 3 is equal to 8. 9 10 11. 11 by 12. So your answer will be 11 by 12. And let's take an example of uh, question 4 where there are the mixed fractions. Suppose the mixed fraction is given like 1 upon uh, 10 plus 2, 3 by 5 plus 4, 1 by 20. Okay, suppose this question is given to you. Now, we know that for opening this mixed fraction, now we need to multiply this 10 into 1 plus 1. How we have to do? 10 into 1 plus 1. The uh, numerator will be added and the side a number that is given in the fraction will be multiplied, right? So, 10 into 1, that is 10 plus 1 will be 11 and the denominator will be same, 10. Similarly, 5 to the 10, 5 to the 10 plus 3 will be 13, 13 upon 5, the denominators will be same. And 20 into 4, 20 into 4, that is 80. 20 into 4 is 80. 80 and, uh, sorry, 80 plus 1 will be there. So, 81, is, it will be 81, okay. 81 upon 20. Okay, now we need to take the LCM, right. 
what will be the LCM? What will be the lowest common multiple? Now, the LCM of all the denominators of 10, 5, and 20 is 20. The LCM is 20. So now, we'll make this 10 also 20. We'll make this 5 also 20. 20 is 20 years then. So, 11 by 10. 10 how many is the 20? 2's are 20. So, both side will be multiplying by 2. Now, here 13 into 5. 5 how many is the 20? 5 4's are 20. So, 5 4's are 20 plus 81 upon 20. It will be the same. Right? So, here 11 into 2 will be 22 upon 20 plus 13 into 4 will become 52 upon 20 plus 81 upon 20. Now, we can take the both um, of all the three fractions. There is 20, so the denominator will be common here. And we'll be now writing 22 plus 52 plus 81, which is equals to 155. And here it will be 20. Now, we can, uh, you can do it in mixed fraction as well. How can we keep it in a mixed fraction now? Let's suppose. How can we keep it in a mixed fraction? Okay, so for keeping it in a, a mixed fraction, now what we need to do? We need to take a rough sketch here. Okay, I'm just taking, making a rough here. Rough and we'll be dividing 155 by 20. 20, so 27, ja, what will be the nearest value? 27 ja, 140 will be there, right? So minus, it will be 5 and here it will be 1 and this will be crushed. So 15 is remaining, 7 is the divisor and mm, the 20 is here. 20 is the divisor and 7 is the remaining quotient, quotient 1. So what will be writing here? 7 and then after the remainder will be here and the denominator will be the same. Look. Like this, we'll be keeping it in the mixed fraction. Understood? Okay, now here I'm making you understand about the quotient number 7. In quotient number 7, you can see right here, the question is asking you, Nitesh spent 5 years of his money. 5 years means 5 by 8, okay? 5 times out of 8. 5 eight of his money on books and 1 fourth of his money on copies. So here we have to write question number 7 given uh, Nitesh. Okay, Nitesh spends, Nitesh spends 5 eighths, 5 eighths of money on book and 1 fourth, yes, 1 fourth on copy so the total total spended money spended total spent money okay total spent money will be added how why it will be added because the uh, needless spends uh, five eighth of his money on book and one fourth of money in his copy so both of the money should be added how much he has spent we have to add so that we'll be getting the total amount of spent money okay so we total spent money is 5 by 8 plus 1 by 4 now you can add right you can take the lcm and you can get the answer so this is how you have to do